Ladies and gentlemen of this wonderful jury, I apologize for what you're about to hear. This sick individual committed one of the most heinous crimes, so terrible that it has not only scarred his victim, but society as a whole. Today you will hear how this sick individual with malicious intent kissed his victim while sporting an offensive mustache for everyone to see. Your Honor, my client here is not guilty of this heinous crime. For example, he's sporting a goatee, not a mustache, which is a strip of hair left to grow above the upper lip. And although he may have hair growing above his upper lip, he also has hair growing around his entire mouth. <clears throat> Prosecutor, call your witness. I call the victim, Fanny, to the stand. Do you, Fanny, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Now, Miss Fanny, please tell the lovely jury where you were on the night of July 23rd of this year. Me and Harry have been going out for about three years now. And I thought everything was going splendidly. And out of the blue, he asked me to close my eyes. And when he did, I, I felt his lips against mine. But I also felt Raising my mouth like razor blades. <laughs> that awful, ugly mustache of his. I did not hurt her. I did not hurt her. I did not. I order in the court. No further questions, Your Honor. Your witness. I understand that this was an awfully upsetting experience for you, but I must ask, did you feel any other hairs other than just your upper lip? I might have, but I was so focused on the upper lip. I didn't happen to notice it. Why are you making me remember that horrible night? I have no further questions. <clears throat> Call your next witness. I call the defendant, Harry Harrison, to the stand. <laughs> Do you, Harry, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Damn right I will. <laughs> We already see that foul-haired barnacles on your displayed face. We don't need to hear foul mouth. Mr. Henderson, do you corroborate the testimony of this witness that you intentionally allowed your mustache to grow and allowed it to touch her innocent skin? and allowed it to, to violate her innocent face? Yes, but this isn't a mustache. It's a goatee. Please, you have to believe me. Please, a goatee is just a mere mustache just to run amok. It's even more offensive for that to even run to be, to stay in your upper lip. Objection! I call for a mistrial. On what grounds? Your Honor clearly has a bias against my client. There's no expectation of a fair trial. It's up to the jury to decide whether he's guilty or not. 
Your objection is overruled. Regrettably, Your Honor, no further questions. Your witness, little bunny. Henry, if you had known that it was... That you kissing her with your goatee could have been interpreted as breaking the law, would you have shaved it off? If I had known, it was so offensive to kiss with a beard on, then yes, I would have shaved it off. I have no further questions. Um, has the jury reached it a verdict? Well, yes we have, Your Honor. We, the members of the jury, find a defendant like Mr. Harry Henderson, sir. Completely guilty as bloody tart! Harry Henderson. By the state of California and this court, I Sentence you to public waxing. Bailiff, you may carry out this condemned sentence. No, no, not my facial hair. No! Oh!